The Ballylinch Stallion roster for 2014 is headed by Lawman, whose results with his first three crops of runners make him one of the most sought-after young sires in Europe today. Another memorable year on the track for Lawman's progeny featured a classic success for the Charlie Hills trained Just the Judge. She more than delivered on the considerable promise of her juvenile career by developing into one of the star three-year-old fillies of 2013. A narrow defeat in the English 1000 guineas on her comeback was followed by a well-deserved success in the Irish 1000 guineas at the Curra several weeks later. Standing and just the judge being followed by Big Break inside the last 150 and just the judge comes through the head just pretending Big Break and Wren's Nest and up towards the finish. It's a classic victory for the Qatar family as Charlie Hills wins with just the judge and Jamie Spencer from just pretending Big Break and this Group 1 triumph for Just the Judge saw her become the third individual Group 1 winner sired by Lawman following top-level successes in 2012 for Most Improved and Law Enforcement. Like Just the Judge, Most Improved showed tremendous promise at two and did even better at three, as he showed here by defeating a quality field in the Group 1 St James's Palace Stakes at Royal Ascot. Straight, most improved on the far side, strikes the front from Foxtrot, Romeo and Gregorium. Irma Val, Lucan, Gabriel out wide, born to see, then Dragon Pulse, and then back in the field, Powers on the extreme right outside, but has a lot of ground to make up inside the final third on most improved Gregorian. Followed in third by Foxtrot, Romeo, Irma Val's trying to get on turns. This most improved, and Kieran Fallon by a length and a half to Gregorian. Here comes Irma Val with a final flourish, but most improved will hold them at bay, and Wins the St James's Palace. Tight. Meanwhile, law enforcement made relentless progress during his juvenile career, winning four of his five starts, which culminated in the Richard Hannan inmate capturing the Group One Grand Criterium on his final start in 2012. Arrivo serratissimo, law enforcement che attacca severamente Sorella Bella, law enforcement che passa su Sorella Bella per frutta al largo che prova ad agganciarlo, law enforcement che viene a vincere il Grand Criterium, lasciando in lotta per frutta Sorella Bella per la. To date, Lawman is responsible for some 22 stakes performers, and he has sired stakes winners from five furlongs to a mile and a half, demonstrating the quality and versatility that are synonymous with top stallions. Another of his daughters, Nargis, chased home just the judge in the 2012 Rockfell stakes, and Nargis was also to develop into a high-class three-year-old last term with her efforts headed by a victory in the Group 3 Scepter Stakes at Doncaster. And now inside the last couple of furlongs, Hughes uh, crouching a little lower on Maureen, draws alongside the pace-setting switcher. Anecdote finds daylight, Zariga under the rails, still in the thick of the action, winning express on the far side. Down to the last furlong they come, Anecdote quickening up to challenge here, Nargis also bursting through, having found a split late on, and Nargis shows the superior turn of foot inside the last, and begins to stretch away, a bunch on for the placings, but Nargis in control, Kimani wins the again and Nargis is too good. Tights the likes of Group 3 placed Diagan and progressive birdcatcher nursery winner Hidden Oasis led the way amongst another strong juvenile crop in 2013. And with further improvement likely, the immediate future certainly looks bright. With his yearlings making up to 340,000 guineas last autumn and averaging an impressive 72,955 euro, Lawman's prowess has certainly hit home in the sales ring. And in 2013 alone, he was responsible for the £215,000 sale topper at the Doncaster Premier Yearling Sale and the £210,000 top lot at the Doncaster Breeze Up Sale in April. The best son of leading sire Invincible Spirit, Lohman carried all before him during his racing career. An emphatic winner of his only juvenile start, he underlined his stellar potential with an ultra-stylish front-running victory in the Group 3 Prix de Guiche. He then turned in another dominant pillar-to-post display in the Prix de Jockey Club, where he was much too good for a number of subsequent Group 1 winners. Avec le 13, Lohmann qui a le meilleur dans la montée, attaqué par No Dream, par Lou Breton qui vient fort, avec également Visionario, Literato en pleine piste, la Kazakh verte, manche rose, stock bleu, avec également Zambezison, encore plus en dehors, avec Stéphane Pasquier, à 200 mètres du but, Lohmann, Francky Dottori devant Literato, devant Zambezison, Chamnidin revenu de très loin, avec Broken Box, qui se défend bien la corde, Sagara à l'extérieur, Lohmann qui a le meilleur, Francky Dottori fait le doublé, la deuxième place pour Literato, Chamnidin des Zambezison, Lohmann s'impose. The following month, in the Group 1 Prix Jean Prat, Lawman showcased his abilities over a mile, as he trenched his opponents in a race which featured that year's French 2000 Guineas winner, Astronomer Royal. 
avec la casaque orange du de Tabosa qui progresse à l'extérieur en haut de la montée. À 200 mètres du but, Loman qui prend maintenant une longueur, deux longueurs d'avance devant Stoneside, alors que Golden Titus tente de se rapprocher avec Tobosa qui est en troisième position. Loman, lauréat du prix du Jockey Club, qui va maintenant s'imposer sur les 1600 mètres du prix Jean Pratt. Olivier Pellier s'impose.